in this entire week we are going to discuss about regular expression which is another type of representing the finite automata looking at the agenda for this session so we are going to deal in detail about what a regular expression means where to use it and how to design a regular expression given a finite automata and vice versa coming to what a regular expression means actually it is a mathematical modeling or representation of a finite automata let's say you are given with a finite automata q0 okay and having a self loop on e this is a the visual representation of the language we want to convey to the audience or to the person who are in need of our representation so what is the language that this will generate we know it is epsilon because start state becomes the final state one time you can be on the state two times three times and it move on so in simple terms we can write it like a star and this is what we call it as regular expression anything that a finite automata represents should be able to be represented by a regular expression and anything this regular expression represents should be able to be represented by finite automata the acceptance power of both the things will be one and the same so whatever the finite automata accepts the regular expression is accept this regular expression whatever is accepting the finite automata will accept moving on the language of nfa dfa epsilon nfa regular expression all we have seen till now it is nothing but the set of all words that you can generate using any of these coming to the equivalence between finite automata and the regular expression since we have earlier discussed that both are one and the same the representative power is one and the same finite automata has three types we know one is epsilon nfa second is nfa third is dfa so since finite automata and regular expression are in form to be one and the same inter conversion should be possible so coming from regular expression to finite automata among this which is convenient for the user to convert is it epsilon nfa nfa or dfa yes we have understood the fact that epsilon nfa is the most convenient way of representation by the user okay so because it permits any number of epsilon transition and hence it is not a problem at all for a user to represent their thoughts in a free style so regular expression can be easily converted to an epsilon nfa in contrast to that while moving on from converting a finite automata to a regular expression if you choose any of this epsilon nfa or nfa both will accept multiple transition from a state on a particular input symbol and hence if you are trying to convert any of these to regular expression it is a tedious task for the user or the machine who is going to do the task to find out all the possible outgoing edges and to traverse from there in co in contrast to that we have dfa which permits only one transition of from a state on an input symbol so and hence the conversion from dfa to regular expression is always easier the language of finite automata is always equivalent to language of regular expression coming to types of edges you can see in this diagram yeah if you look at q0 from the outgoing edges of q0 are three so two outgoing edges are there one labeled zero another labeled with one so from q0 you have an option to go to q3 on reading input symbol zero or to go to q1 on reading input symbol one or to stay back in q0 on reading input symbol either zero or one this is actually a nfa right so what is this kind of operator either or right so from a state on an application of input symbol okay so you have the provision to choose either this state or that state so the first type of edge that you can have in a finite automata is either or coming to next one so from q0 how do we reach q1 on reading the string 00, 00. so first zero will make you move from q0 to q3 the next zero will make you move from q3 to q4 so what is the type of operation that we do here yes it is concatenation you are concatenating two symbols so the second type of edge that you can have here is concatenation what is the third kind of loop uh, or the edges that you have you have something of this kind okay so any edge who start and 
final state remains the same state we call it as the self loop right so what is the purpose of self loop it represents the fact of zero or more repetitions of a particular input symbol here in q2 you have a self loop on 0 comma 1 which means the fact that 0 and 1 can be 0 or 1 can be repeated any number of times so that's what is the type of edges that you can have so third is your self loop so you could not see any other possible type of edges other than these three in any of your automata so and hence regular expression is a mathematical way of representing your finite automata and it supports three basic operations union operation given regular expression r1 r2 you can write either as r1 plus r2 or r1 r2 the second operation being concatenation either you can write as r1 r2 or you can have a concatenation operator in between third is clean closure actually it is an unary operator which you can use on a single regular expression okay the sample regular expressions being a r b a b and a star having understood this how to write simple regular expression let's take the same example and try to write a let's take the same example and try to write regular expression for this so we are going to start with q not so what is the possible expressions that you can have on the same state it is 0 r1 the whole star why am i writing 0 or 1 because here in state q not you have a self loop on the input symbol 0 comma 1 so 0 comma 1 either 0 or 1 which is represented as this the self loop is being represented as star so once that is done then you can branch to q3 or q1 if you go to q3 what through through what is the symbol that you can reach q3 it is through 0 okay so i have reached q3 then from q3 we can reach q4 by reading another 0 right when you reach q4 again you have the possibility to repeat 0 or 1 any number of times so 0 or 1 the whole star okay so this is one option from q0 the state q0 the stay at q0 what is the other option that you have from q0 so you can reach q1 by reading the input symbol 1 then you can reach q2 by reading the input symbol 1 then you can stay at q2 by reading 0 or 1 the whole star okay so this is for option 2 3 q2 from q0 oh, this subset is for staying at q0 this subset is to reach q4 this subset is to reach q2 that's all this is the regular expression moving on we'll take one more simple example which is the start state it is 0 since it is a self loop as usual 0 plus 1 the whole star then how to reach the final state it is 0 that's it very simple have a look at these two diagrams is it very easy to write it's pretty difficult right and people will get confused of selecting the edges that to reach a final state also to identify whether we have completed selecting all the edges and all okay so don't worry just relax we have a solution for that that is what thomson's construction mean so next week session i'll be talking about thomson's construction in detail that is the procedure to convert regular expression to epsilon nfa if you want to have dfa this epsilon nfa can be converted to dfa in our own style which we have seen in the last week thank you